So yesterday we discussed about uh, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. Uh, I couldn't finish the explanation of the last part of number ten, but I sent you the picture of the solution. And uh, if anybody of you have any kind of doubt regarding the last couple of lines, then you may ask me doubts. Okay. Is there anyone? Nobody? Okay. I hope everyone understood. Okay. Then let us start number 11. The radius of the circumcircle of an equilateral triangle. Equilateral triangle means all the sides will be equal. AB equal to BC equal to AC. Okay. All the sides will be equal. The radius of the circumcircle. We know that the circumcircle is a circle that passes through the three vertices of the triangle. That is the circumcircle. The, from the center, the distance to one vertex will give you the radius, right? Because the vertex lies on the circle. From center to circle, that is radius. So it is three centimeter, three centimeter, and three centimeter, okay? Now, um, we have to find the length of the side of the triangle, okay? That means we have to find what is the length of A, B, B, C, and C, A. Now, let us consider the three sides are A, B, equal to bc equal to ca is equal to okay a letter a okay Achha. now in equilateral triangle we have a couple of advantage over the other triangles what are those, those advantage that is if you uh, draw a median okay let us say we have found out the middle point of the side bc Okay, and we have connected it to the opposite vertex A. So AD will be a median, okay? Now, this median will also be perpendicular to the opposite side, okay? AD will be perpendicular to BC, okay? So what I said, I have drawn AD median. As it is an equilateral triangle, it will be perpendicular to the opposite side BC. And also, it will bisect BC it will bisect BC. That means BD will be equal to CD, right? Or I can say BD is equal to half of BC. BD is equal to what? Half of BC, okay? So as I have considered BC is equal to A, so I can say BD is equal to A by two, okay? Half of BC means A by two, okay? And OB is equal to is three centimeter we already know. So let us try to find out what is the length of OD, okay? What is the length of OD? How can we find it out? If you, uh, maybe, you know, this information is new to you that this center of the circumcircle for an equilateral triangle is also the centroid. What is it? The centroid, okay? O is also the centroid. For equilateral triangle, if I draw a circumcircle, the center of that circumcircle will be the centroid. Now, in higher math, we already discussed about this, that the centroid actually divides the median into two is to one ratio. Okay, if this is the centroid, what will happen? This part will be two and this part will be one. Two is to one ratio, right? So according to that, what I can write, AO is to OB. Okay, should be two is to one, as this is the centroid. So here we know the length of AO, that is three centimeter. So I will put it here. I want to know the length of AOD. So if I cross multiply, I will get OD is equal to three by two, right? Yes, three by two. So that will be 1.5. Okay, centimeter. As it is given centimeter there, we have to put centimeter. Now, as you can see, I already told you that AD will be perpendicular to BC. So we have a right angle triangle here. So if I want, I can apply Pythagoras theorem here. 90 degree opposite side is OB. So OB square will be equal to OD square plus BD square. Now OB, is equal to three centimeter, we already know. So three square will be equal to OD. OD is something that we found out a little bit ago, that is 1.5 square plus BD square. BD is equal to A by two. 
So a by two whole square. From here, we can easily find out the value of a, which is the length of each side. So continuing the calculation, nine between 2.25 plus a squared by four. So nine, if I bring this 2.25 on this side, it will be minus and divided by four. If I change the side, it will be multiplied with this. And then finally to find the value of a from a square, I will be in need to root, root over of this side, right? So can you calculate? So it's, so it's three root three. Hmm? Three root three. Three root three. Okay. So that is the side of one, uh, that is the length of one side of the equilateral triangle. Okay. Three root three centimeter. Is it okay? Did you understand? Yes, sir. Okay. This was actually more like, you know, mathematics. Okay. Not related to geometry. Some calculation is involved with over here. That's okay. So before I move to the next one, anybody wants to ask any question? Nobody? Okay. So number 12. Did you get the PDF that I sent you yesterday? Yes, sir. From the, uh, how you have to write in the exam, you know, in a properly arranged way with all the explanation within the bracket, it is given over there, okay? So you can just go through it and it will tell you how to do. Achha. Now, uh, number 12. <clears throat> okay. In the isosceles triangle ABC, let us draw an isosceles triangle. Okay. Where the two equal sides are AB and AC. Okay, AD is the perpendicular from the vertex A to the base BC. Okay, so from A, I'm drawing a perpendicular AD. Okay, to the opposite side BC. If the circumradius of the triangle, circumradius, to get the circumradius, we actually have to draw a circum circle. This is our circum circle. And let us say the center is somewhere here, okay? So from here, if I connect uh, any vertex, then what will happen? I will be getting, what I will get? The circum radius, okay? So the circum radius is given as R. So the length of this is R, okay? We can actually consider this OA also as R. We Let us uh, name this point as O, okay? So OB, if I join OC also, I can do that, no problem. OA, OB, OC, okay? This will all be equal to each other because all of them are radius, circum radius for this circle. And so we have to prove that AB square is equal to, AB square is equal to 2R into 2R into AD. AD, okay? We have to prove that. How we can do? <clears throat> For this, we have to draw a little bit of construction, okay? You can list the top as drawing. We extend AD up to E such that it intersects the circum circle at E, okay? So we will extend AD in such a way that until it intersects the circum circle and we will name that point as E. After that, we will join C comma E, okay? And we have to write, we join C comma E. Must remember to put this comma in between whenever you are writing or mentioning C and E as two point. If I say that CE is a line, 
then I will write it in this way without any comma between them. But when I'm mentioning them as C as one point and E as another point, I have to put comma between them. Remember this, okay? Answer. Now let us start our proof. Now looking at this line, you might feel like, okay, there is going to be some ratios, right? And ratios come from whenever we prove two triangles to be similar. Okay, so which two triangles to be proven similar? ABC and AEC. Okay, on the same side. In triangle ABC and triangle AEC. In between these two triangles, what we can say? Uh, uh, which, which angle I can say equal? use your logic for your conveniency you know let me help you let me erase this part then it will be easier for you to find two angles equal okay in adc and aec which two angles i can write equal Angle A, B, C, and C, D, E. A, B, C, and C, D, E. C, D, E, no, is not an angle of triangle A, E, C. The two triangles that I'm considering. Oh, sir, D, D, A, C, and E, A, C, both A angle. Yes, uh, both of them are this angle, right? So in triangle A, D, C, I can say D, A, C is equal to the EAC angle of triangle AEC, right? That one I can say, okay. So angle DAC should be equal to angle EAC because- And ADC, hmm, ADC, ADC is equal to ACE. Why? Because uh, arc in the semi-center, uh, so semi-circle, semi-circle arc. Angle at the semi-circle, very good, okay. So ADC, this angle I can say 90 degree, okay? Because it is written in the question that it is perpendicular. Now, uh, ACE, why I can say that this angle is 90 degree? Because if you notice, this was the center of the circle and this is the line that is passing through the center. So the line that passes through the center actually divides the circle into two semicircles. So this is one semicircle, this is another semicircle. So on this semicircle, I can draw any angle, that angle is bound to be 90 degree. Okay, so this is also 90 degree. So two angles I have proven equal. The third side, okay, you can just write remaining angle of this triangle, remaining angle of the another triangle, they will be equal to each other automatically, okay? Now, I, as I have said, the remaining two angles are equal. I can say these two triangles are so yeah. can I ask some? Yes, yes. Uh, we know the summation of three sides of a triangle is 180 degree, right? Hmm. But in triangle ADC, angle ADC plus angle ACD is equal to 90 degrees. So what about the other angle? In triangle ADC? ADC and ACD is equal to 90 degree, right? Both are 90 degree, right? No, no, no. ACE is 90 degree, not ACD. If you take a look, this is our diameter and this is the arc. AE, it is the arc. Standing on this arc, the angle at the circle is ACE. ACE, that is 90 degree, not ACD. Mm -mm. Understood? Oh, yes, sir. Okay. So this is 180 degree angle at the center and half of it should be 90 degree angle on the circle as you have studied in general math, I hope so. So these two triangles are similar to each other. So if these two triangles are similar, then we have to write the ratio of the corresponding side will be equal to each other. Now the confusion arises, which side I need to take, you know, which side is corresponding side of which one? Now, this is a common, uh, you know, dilemma that I see the students are facing. So at first we can start with the hypotenuse. Let us find out the hypotenuse for both the triangle. We can see that for ADC, the hypotenuse is AC, 
Okay, let us write AC first. Now in triangle ACE, this is the 90 degrees. So the opposite side of it is AE. So AE is going to be the hypotenuse. So I will take the ratio of the two hypotenuse. Okay. Achha. Now I have this angle equal, right? AD and uh, this angle, okay. Mm. 90 degree opposite. Okay. So the corresponding side of CD will be corresponding, uh, the corresponding side of CD will be EC. We can easily understand by looking at the side, uh, size, right? DC and CE. So we can say that CD corresponding side is EC. And then what are the third side left? AC, I have already taken CD, I have already taken AD is left. Okay, so let us take AD and that will be equal to um, or corresponding to AE, EC, I have taken AE, EC, I have taken. So the left is AC. Okay. Achha. So from here, I will actually need the first one and the third one. So let us remove the second one. If I cross multiply, it will be AC into AC, AC squared will be equal to AE into AD. AE into AD. Achha. So we, we should always keep our eye on what we need to prove actually. We have AB squared here, but we have AC squared. So I need to change AC squared by AB squared. How I can do that? Is AC and AB equal? If you remember when we started this proof, I already told you that this is an isosceles triangle. So AC and AB, they are actually equal to each other. So if I want, I can replace AC by AB. So AC squared, I replaced by AB squared. Now here, AD, AD is there. All I need to prove is that AE is equal to twice of the radius. Actually, we can see it from here itself, right? This is the center and this is the diameter. So half of it is going to be the radius and another half of it is going to be another radius. So AE is equal to 2R. Will you disagree? No, no, sir. Okay. So here we have what we need to prove. Anybody have any doubt in the whole process? No, sir. Okay. So are you following the procedure that I told you to, that uh, to write, you know, the main line at least while you are revising. So then every day for at least one week, you need to repeat this process, then inshallah, it will be there in your mind. Okay? Yes, sir. Sir? Yes. In the construction, we uh, increase like in the concept, I just like to ask me to cut up and I'm not picture to dictate what the sinner. Yes, me there screen is a put the same. I mean, okay, okay, fine. I see. Anyway, in the construction, I'm the CE at Corsi, right? CE join Corsi in the drawing. I'm ready to be join Kurtam Talatam direct AB AB square page at them, right? Excellent. I'm ready to be a CE join Nakore. আমরা যদি এখানে BE জয়েন করতাম তাহলে এখানে যে দুইটা ট্রায়াঙ্গল আমরা নিছিলাম সেটা হয়ে যেত ADB এবং আরেকটা ট্রায়াঙ্গল যেটা হতো সেটা ABE অথবা AEB তখন এখানে অ্যাকচুয়ালি C এর জায়গায় জাস্ট B হয়ে যেত DAB হয়ে যেত মানে এই অ্যাঙ্গেলটা তখন ইকুয়াল হতো দুটোটা ট্রায়াঙ্গলের মধ্যে কমন DAB EAB DAB is equal to EAB, which is angle A. Okay. Actually, oh, we cannot actually write this equal to angle A. Because whenever I refer to angle A, that actually represents this whole angle. Okay. So please be very careful. Okay. Do not write it equal to angle A. And the other one, I can write which one? This angle will be equal to 90 degrees. So ABE, it will be ABE and other one, this one is 90 degrees, so ADB. ADB. So from here, actually, I can write uh, the hypotenuse AE there, and the hypotenuse here will be AB. 
okay and here automatically it will be a b so a b into a b it would have been a b square okay correct good observation it shows you know that you are thinking about this which everyone should be doing actually okay acha so we have uh, 30 30 ধরে নেট কানেকশন এর সমস্যা Okay, so everyone please go through this four question 13, 14, 15, 16. And as I have already provided you the solution, kindly go through it. You are supposed to understand most of it. But if at any line or if any theorem um, you didn't understand the proof, then you may let me know. I will specifically discuss about that. Okay. Or else if I just discussed about every problem in the class, then I think it will be a waste of time because many of the problems are over here that you can solve it yourself, okay? So take it as homework and in the following class, and you let me know that uh, in which one you have doubt, okay? Inform me beforehand through WhatsApp, okay? Yeah. And if nobody has no problem in this four problem, then okay, Alhamdulillah. Um, we can say that we have completed our portion for higher math as well, right? <clears throat> then we can uh, actually focus on physics, the modern uh, physics and electronics, those chapters. Okay? Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Thanks everyone for joining. See you in the next class, inshallah. And kindly make sure that you go through all these four and let me know about your doubt. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bye -bye. Sir, huh. can you send the videos link in WhatsApp? Today's video? Yes. Okay. Inshallah.